because more solid snake always equals more fun. And with that, it looks like we are ready to start Metroid Prime Hunters All Items with Mr. Shasta. Take it away. Well, hello everybody. Welcome to Metroid Prime Hunters for the Nintendo DS. I'm your, I'm Mr. Ernstworth Shasta, and I play this game. I'll be doing it today. <laughs> before we get, before we get started, though, I want, I want to do uh, GQ a quick favor here. Because it's gonna be it's gonna be asked both in, both in chats, since it's the only Metro game on the schedule. Uh, so Metro Dreads not in this marathon because it came out five days after after uh, HQ submissions ended. There you go. You're welcome, Twitch and YouTube. <laughs> it, I I I I don't, I I don't see a future where Dreads not next at GQ, and that's not putting pressure on like on GQ staff or anything. It's, just, it's just, it, like we we all know it's gonna happen. Like come on. <laughs> But yeah, Hunters, it, I'm really excited to be showing this game off again because this is actually the first run I ever had in a GEQ way back in SGQ 2015. It's the first game I ever had in a GEQ, so I'm really happy to be showing it off again. It's, uh, God, it's been like six years since then, right? Like, oh my goodness. <laughs> I should have said that out loud. I feel old now. <laughs> but yeah, this game's gotten a lot, more, a lot of new developments since then, a lot of new out of bounds, a lot of new tricks in general. A lot, a, lot of, a lot of crazy stuff, and you'll, you, and you'll, you're gonna love it, trust me. Unless you don't, but, you know, you, you do. <laughs> yeah, without further ado, let's uh, go and get started. So, three, two, one, go. So yeah, this is the main series Metro game for the Nintendo DS. It's part of the Prime series. I think it takes place, like, after Prime 2, I wanna say. I don't even, I, I, don't, I don't exactly know. It's kind of like a side mission in a way. Samus is like a different galaxy than she normally is in general. And fun little fact about this game is that you actually start off with a bunch of different weapons they normally wouldn't have being of a Metroid game. For instance, I have, uh, let me see if I can get it correctly, charge beam, missiles, bombs, boost ball, uh, morph ball, of course, <laughs> and scan visor right at the start of this run. I don't have missiles just yet because I, ha I don't have a drop for it yet. We get that, it's like a scripted thing we get later, basically, but yeah. So yeah, kind of, kind, of, kind of like a quick synopsis of the story as well too, is that we are, uh, there was kind of, there was like a, a kind of a distress signal or like some sort of like mysterious signal sent out like from a, from a distant galaxy and it says something about like treasure, or like infinite power or something. So Samus goes and investigates and a bunch of bounty hunters, six of them in this case, uh, go out to investigate as well too. And because they want infinite power or treasure, whichever one it was, I forget exactly what it was, but yeah, something like that. And yeah, my notice as well too, this game is actually on the DS. It's Metro Prime Hunters for Nintendo DS after all. So for most of the run, I'm actually using the touch screen to aim and like, and also just like do everything else here, like switch my weapons and go into Morph Ball as, as well as use, use the touch screen. Sometimes you can boost with touch screen too, but usually I just use the R button for that one. It's really cool. This game is actually like super ahead of its time in a lot of ways. And also a little very ambitious as well. But enough about that. We're gonna do the first trick of the run right here. The first uh, t out of bounds here. But we're gonna skip this fight trigger by just doing this clip. I call this one like a, a bomb boost clip. I think like the community calls it a dip clip. I, I don't like that name. I'm not, I'm not, not a fan of that one. Second try though, nice. Oops, hello. <laughs> there we go, second try on that one. So in order to actually unlock the boss fight of each, of each uh, of each area of this game, you need to get three artifacts. We just got the first one right there. Fight going out of bounds. That skips that skips the whole fight and saves like 30 -ish seconds or so. It's pretty cool. And since this run is called all items, we get all the items in the game. It's not called a hundred percent, but we're it really is just a hundred percent. And it's not called that because I'm not even kidding you. 75% of the of the percent counter of this game is, is all is just scanning like everything in the game. Like that's why we call all items, because we're, we're just getting everything. But yeah, uh, so I'm, I'm, just, I'm just gonna start explaining like the hardest trick in the run, because we're about to do that in a second. It's, ca it's called Volt Driver Early. What we do with this trick is we get Volt Driver Early, a power that we're not, a power not, we're not supposed to have until late game, like super late in the game. And the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna go out of bounds here by doing a what's called an unmorph clip. 
it's uh we just on more for the right time it gets uh bounds it's like it's very precise i think it's frame perfect in this case something like that, so that some buzzword like that <laughs> then from there i have to navigate the out bounds abyss which is currently unloaded by using the scan visor oops i missed, I missed you there there we go so I navigate using scan visor and then i get and then i get volt driver and clip out bounds again using uh the dip clip i used earlier so yeah, here we go hopefully i can get this and do a little concentration Last marathon run I did this game, I uh, this took me this took me a little bit, so I'm hoping to not repeat that. There we go. Okay, now we have bounds, and right here in the middle of the room is also a UA tank, which I need for all items, so we gotta get that too. And then there we go. There's Volt Driver. Just you you can't see it, but there it is. And now we gotta get out of bounds once, or get back inbounds now. And this is this is the hard part for me. We gotta do another, we gotta do, while everything's unloaded, we gotta do another dip clip here, so if I can get that. Oh, I got first try, yo nice. And then now I have to shoot the floor so I know where to go. <laughs> just so I don't fall back, just so I don't fall into, into the void here. Should be good right here. There we go, yo, we got it. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, that that's like that's the hardest trick of the run. I was super nervous about failing that one. I'm so glad I got that. Woo! Alright, <laughs> we're good now. <laughs> Rest of the run smooth sailing. That's not one segment, but we'll get there later. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I did like a lot of practice of that, like in the uh, in like the green room here. It's <laughs> so, like I'm I'm super thankful that one well. <laughs> All right, so this is Camden. We saw we saw him earlier. This is the he functions kind of like a snake in this case. Eventually, he's gonna morph like this, and then uh, we have to start shooting him. You look down the certain amount of health. I right, for some reason I just stand that platform. He just stands still. I don't know why, but yeah, he's gonna start coming towards me now, and then uh, it's dead. There we go. Drops a little switch for us and locks the door behind us, which where an artifact is. There it is. Oh yeah, I'm playing this on a real 3DS. That's why I'm looking down all the time. Yeah, shout out to 3DS capture. Pretty cool, pretty cool thing in general. All right, so this game is uh, functions kind of like Quake. It actually has rocket jumping in it. There we go. See, that's also a thing. We use that to just get through this room a little bit faster. Now we get shoot four switches in here, and this will not the crystal in front of us. Bam! Now we got all three artifacts. So if we get all three artifacts in an area, it unlocks the boss portal, which is just right here in this case. And now we've got the boss, and the game wants us to escape afterwards too, but uh. uh I won't, I won't tease it just now. Well, we're gonna do a thing, and it's fast. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> yeah, this is the first boss of the game right here. This is Credit Fid. He has all these different eyeballs, and you just gotta shoot, shoot these blue eyeballs until they're until they're gone. Simple as that. You rinse and repeat afterwards too. Because we have Volt Driver early though, I'm gonna be using it for his first fight. So once the crystal pops out of him, I just start shooting at Volt Driver and does a bit more damage than my my normal my normal uh, power beam here. Especially if I charge it like that. Then we got one more. Nice. First fight down, let's go. I'm actually gonna open up Chad again, because I, I had clothes just, just for that, just for Volt Driver early, just in case. <laughs> so hi Chad, I can see you now. And there we go. So we got we got an Octolith right there. We need all the Octoliths to actually uh, to actually access the final area where the, where the final boss is. We can't do it otherwise. And now we're gonna escape, or a quote unquote escape. So I mentioned this game is very broken earlier, like before it started the run. It's very broken. 
So now that I have Bull Driver early, we can actually access the second area of Celestial Archives here, the, the first plan we're on right now. Oops, there you are. That's what we're going to be doing. I'm going to do a little, bomb, a little bomb boost jump right here. I did that earlier to, to uh, go back in bounds. This just gets around there a little faster, that's all it is. I did it earlier to get back in bounds while doing Bull Driver early. Now the important thing now, the, the important thing now is I need to not die. If I die after after do the whole scape again, this room is also very very laggy. But thankfully, I skipped the whole thing by just doing that very precise scan through the wall, and that's and that just like gives us access to the portal there. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Those guardians were just grouped around me. That was really weird. <laughs> I've never seen it before. Oh my goodness, that's never happened before. Whoa, funny meme. Anyways. <laughs> But yeah, we can not, we just skipped that room. It saves like a minute or so. It's really cool. <clears throat> now we're just going to navigate over to this uh, portal maze, essentially. So we're going right over here, making that cycle. Just made. Very nice. So this whole area over here is just a, a, a big portal maze. I know where to go, thankfully. There's a few items we got to get in here, too. I'm going to do a bomb jump right here, then a boost after the last one, so we get just enough heights to get up here. And this allows us to get to your shock coil a little early. This is the second weapon of the game we're getting. Again, not supposed to have this weapon until way later either. Until after we get a uh, Volt Driver, which we got early, so now we have it super early in the run. <laughs> Alright, so we're going right in here, and after, after the defeats one, parentheses, one Guardian. That's the name of these enemies over here. They're called Guardians. Except I need one of them to come out here. Please. Please die. Please. One of you. Please. Cooperate. Where are you? I don't want to move from this spot, by the way. I'm not moving from this spot. Stoop kids afraid leave a stoop, okay? There we go. Okay, we're good. <laughs> I don't want I didn't want to mess anything up right there. All right, so we got that switch and lost that lost this artifact over here, and now we're gonna go and sh move on. It was shock looking up this door right here too, and get right past where that other guard is. We didn't, we didn't defeat. And now we're gonna we're just gonna do a little cleanup right here. There's a there's the UA tank right here. We're gonna get that real quick. The artifact unlocked earlier by hitting that switch. We're gonna get that getting that real quick, and we're gonna not die right here. There we go, see? Good jump, we got it. And go over this portal here. That's not intended, You're not supposed to be able to do all that. But wait, there's more! There's a missile right here. And then we're gonna go right into here, and this is the right way to go. And now I'm gonna take this room super safely. This room is like one of the hardest ones in the game to navigate properly. I'm gonna hopefully get some health. Nope, didn't get health, that's fine too. Alright, we're gonna take this one very, very safely. I could go very fast here, but I'm, I'm choosing not to. Del deliberately going slow. Take away my speed license already, please. Someone do it. <laughs> but yeah, we're go. But yeah, I'm, just, I'm trying to get through here without, without getting injured at all, without like falling to the void. There we go. You get you, you actually get, like clip into the onto the ceiling in that room too, but like I didn't want to like risk it all this time. Considering how Lois has gone so far, it, it's it's good not to risk things at the moment. <laughs> Mostly, I was nervous about like Volt Driver early and having to do all that again be kind of kind of stinky. So we're just gonna go. We're gonna go through this portal, and we're gonna scan it for the first time ever. If you scan a portal for the first time ever during an escape sequence, uh, you're able to actually just leave through it, which is not intended. <laughs> but yeah, that's a thing you just kind of do. And there we go. We're done with Celestial Archives. That was a. Uh... <laughs> I'm glad we got through that no problem, because that part is very stressful. <laughs> It's the first second of, second of the run, so yeah. But yeah, uh, enough, of, enough of me talking. Let's hear some donations real quick while we go to the next planet. Absolutely. We have $10 from Jackal that says, Shoutouts to my friend Shasta. I'm really glad to see Metro Prime Hunters for the Nintendo DS at AGDQ. <laughs> Good luck and have fun. Thanks, Jackal. I can get one more while we're, go while we're going to the next trick I gotta do. Sure, I've got a big one for you. We have $1,000 from Yink Whoa. and Mr. Yink. Whoa. 
Whoa. What's up, Shasta? We're both Hello. massive Mestroid fans and excited to see a buddy running Prime Hunters at HDDQ. Good luck on the run. This donation is in memory of a family and friend who lost her battle with cancer. Rest in peace, Shelly. Thank you so much for that donation. Thank you, Yank. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, well, here we go. So now we're going over to this maze over here. And we're it, we're supposed to be, like, doing a few things to actually get through here normally. But we're just going to do this and just clip through the bottom of it. There we go. That saves, like, 30-ish seconds or so of just unlocking the door behind me to get through that there normally. And now that we have Voltrive early, by the way, these, these, these doors here are not supposed to be able to go through yet. So we just kind of go through them. Bam! And bam, we're good. And because of that, we actually skip a cutscene with Spire, where it introduces that hunter there. But uh, we don't see that. We don't see that at all. So now we're just gonna go over here, no problem. I think the enemy just yeet himself out of bounds. I think he just went out of bounds there, just through the portal I destroyed. That was that was very impressive. Ten out of ten, honestly. Are you Spire, by the way? He's a uh, it's very rock based as you can see. He's very very jagged. Got a lot got a lot of gems all over him. His main thing is that he rolls around in like a morph ball type of thing and he hurts me that way mostly. And it does a lot of damage too. It's uh it's it's a little intimidating, just a little bit. Yeah, getting rid of him right there gives me artifacts and those are important. You know what else is important? Shooting him through the wall here. If I aim right back here and charge a missile. It'll shoot during the cutscene and actually miss. Never mind, I'm wrong. I'm sorry. Sorry for lying. Didn't mean it. Apologies. <laughs> I don't know why that happened. That was that was that was strange. All right, if I go in the corner. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say if I go in the corner here, then he's just gonna go right in front of me and I can just kill him that way. But he decided to fall off. He fell off. Plus prince plus ratio. Unfortunate. Uh, please, please. One more hit? Two more hits? Alright, there you go. <laughs> we got it. <laughs> and doing that will give us uh, that crystal there. It'll, it'll unlock an artifact for us. And now we can go ahead and shmove on once again. No, I keep saying shmove on, but don't worry about it. Actually, I'm worried about it. I should probably stop doing that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> All right, so we're going to scan this portal right before we go into the boss fight. Now, like I said earlier, if you scan a portal for the first time ever during an escape sequence, then then uh, it should work. Like, you should be able to get, to get back to like where, where your ship is and everything. In this case, you actually can't do that for that portal. But if you do it after the boss fight, you can use it. And you'll see that after this is done. But first off, we got we got this boss fight. This is, this is, this is Slench right here. He's kind of like a giant ball that's gonna shoot stuff at us, like from the wall. And then he'll eventually go off. He eventually like go off the wall, and we can we can hurt him. Then. We can hurt him then. And the cool thing about having Vol Driver early is that this boss is not supposed to be hurt by Vol Driver ever. So we can just kind of do this. Yeah, he's he's gone. <laughs> here's phase. Here's phase two. If I time my shots correctly here, I can also destroy his tackles one shot. It's a little tricky. I usually, I usually get the first one and don't get the second two, but yeah. All right, phase three. <laughs> we move on. Very good. If, 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 so the octopus spawns on the ground right here, and that's in the right spot, so it's able to skip a cutscene there too. I think it's about 10 seconds. Very good. If I hold pause, like, while it's loading back in, and then, then it just skips that cutscene. Very, very nice. All it is is just, like, the camera goes around the room and zooms in on Samus. That's all it does. So it's like, it, you don't miss anything. But there's four chances to get that cutscene skip in the run, so hopefully I get that next time. Once again, like, for the other... Hopefully I get that later as well, too, for other fights, but... Yeah. All right, so we're just gonna go over here, load in the other room, and go back in, and then, for some reason, this portal works. And we just, we just go. We just move on, and here's the ship. So that trick right there is actually English exclusive. It skips a boss fight with one of the hunters named Weevil, and because of that, we never see that fight ever. We never see a hunter ever in the game. He just doesn't appear. 
All right, you can do uh, one, one more donation right here while we go to the next plant. Sure thing. We got $20 from Grovatron that says, I never got to play Metroid Prime Hunters back in the day. It's fun to watch it, to watch it get speed run this year at GDQ. Good luck to the runner. Thank you, thank you. All right, so now we're in Arctera, which is my personal favorite plan of the run because it is extremely broken. <laughs> You're gonna see that immediately right here. So we're just gonna go over to this doorway and then for no particular reason, we're gonna just start charging a missile. For, for no reason. And then, uh, yeah, we're out of bounds already. <laughs> we just had to clip around the barrier right there. No problem. That skips a fight of Noxus, who we'd never see in the run ever again. You don't even see him at all, actually. He's one of the hunters. He's, he's the purple one. Oops. Right here. There we go. And then we clip out of bounds right here. And this this gets us to where the room where the artifact is. And also get an E-Tank there, too, because, you know, all, all items and all that. And all that. There's, there, there's your effect. But we're, we're currently locked in the room. How do we get out? Uh, do, we do that right there. That's how we get out. But then we're locked in this room as well, too, because the barriers. How do we get out? We go up here and then just jump through this wall. <laughs> you know, a, as you do. <laughs> as you do, really. <laughs> Doing all that saves, like, multiple minutes, by the way. We skip a whole fight and we skip, like, a few different kind of sort of quote-unquote fetch quests where we just, like, get... A, we, yeah, pretty much that, really. We just gotta unlock stuff, but... But wait, there's more! We do this bomb drip right here, so we can uh, skip a fight in that room there, so we can get over this area way earlier than intended. But wait! There's more! <laughs> so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do another missile jump right here, and then go right on this little pillar, jump off of it, and we get Judicare, the third power in the run. Used to be the first power in the run, and just, it, I think this is the intended first power in general, but, yeah, <laughs> now we got it. And now, that's it's really all, all, the, all the main cool things about this segment here. We just got a lot, we're just gonna get a lot, we're gonna get all three artifacts now and then just kind of exit this area. And we do that for a very good reason, which I'll get into next time we go into Arctera. But yeah, for now we're gonna get, just gonna navigate our way over here, get the portal. That's for later. Oops. Why'd the camera flip on me? That was weird. And now that we have Geocator as well, too, we can go ahead and unlock this door over here. The biggest problem with this game casually, by the way, is the fact that there's all these like, different color-coded doors, and not everyone's going to notice that casually. So, like, a lot of people get, tend to get lost in this game and, like, not know where to go because they never saw, like, a certain door that you're supposed to unlock of, like, a certain power that you, you just got, for instance. That's kind of a thing. Oops. There we go. Forgot from the cool how cool the DS was. It's my, it's one of my favorite consoles. It's not my favorite one. I love the DS so much. This game in general is super intuitive or super innovative. Like a lot of what it did. The fact that you can play Metroid Prime on the go like this is just so cool. It's just such a, it's such a cool, it's just, it's amazing, really. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot to even say it, but like, I, I, I put a bomb right in front of that doorway, and also in front of like the doorway where I got the artifacts a second ago, just so it stays unlocked, so it stays a little bit of time. But yeah, I think I'm gonna squeeze another donation real quickly while we're just going back to the ship and going back to Linos as well. For sure, we have $250 from Sleepy Burrito that says, love the commentary, and I can really tell that you love the game. Heck yeah, dude, thank you. This, this is like one of the first runs I did. I ran way back in the day. I'm, I'm, it's always fun to be showing it off in like a marathon like this. Especially in front of, uh, how many people are, like, are watching right now? Like 100,000 people? It's, yeah, something like that. <laughs> Yeah, so we're, back, we're going back to Leos now, and then I'm going to do uh, some RNG manip here, actually. This is this was found a bit more recently, I think, by, uh, I think I think Dan found it. He's a, Dan's, Dan's kind of the person who found, like, a lot of tricks in this run, <laughs> in general. So we're going to go over here, shoot the ground twice, like this. Oh, I didn't do it correctly. All right, well, I, I missed time just a little bit. I haven't filled that one in a while. A bit unfortunate, but it is what it is. So if, if I did it correctly, nothing will spawn in this room. This room is very random normally. It can have either a hunter, a guardian, a hunter and a guardian, uh, a hunter and two guardians, 
or just like nothing. And we want nothing, because like if there's anything in this room, we have to defeat it in order to actually get through uh, this portal right, or this door right here. So, a bit unfortunate, but it is what it is. At the very least, that was a very clean fight on Spire there. Like, he just kind of just kind of died. So, that's good. There's Silex's ship. I don't know why he's flying over this plane. We don't even see him here. But there it is. All right, so uh, lava doesn't really hurt you in this game. Like it does, but it doesn't, you know? Oops, I don't know why I unmorphed. <laughs> there we go. All right, so in this next room, in this next room uh, there's there's three guardians we got to defeat. I'm just gonna do that real quick. These things are pretty random where they go, especially after you hurt them like that. I'm gonna get that health dropped. There we go. That's good. And one more. That was pretty clean. That looks pretty good. Nice. That that whole fight there can go pretty badly there if you just if they keep running away from you. But thankfully that one that one that went very well. And now we get to do another out of bounds. This one's tricky because I have to get hit out of bounds in a certain way. I have to get hit out of bounds and like be able to jump around this barrier in front of me. That's that's the idea. This is a little bit tricky. All right, we gotta do that again. See, I, I got hit too far back there. That was that was a problem. Got it. All right. So first try. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we got it. Heck yeah. What this does is it skips having to do a bunch of different stuff in the last room I was in in order to unlock the door at the very top of the room, not where I entered. And that saves like, I want to say a minute, over a minute. There's a lot of cutscenes in that room if you do that. We're seeing like not a whole lot of cutscenes in this run, and there's a good reason why. It's because I'm skipping them, that's why. Except for ones that are required, like the Salic ship. I can't skip those. But for now, though, something that's pretty cool is that I have shock coil, I have shock coil earlier than intended. So this boss fight, if I do it correctly, should be really quick because of that. This is just a little mini boss. Bam, see? He's done. And, and with, that, with that fight, we get another power here, or another weapon. This is Magmal, which kind of functions as, as like a, a grenade that explodes and impacts, I guess. It's pretty cool. We used to, that clip we did a second ago with missiles on that one structure. Uh, we used to do that with Magmol, but it's, it's slower to get Magmol first, so we just don't do that anymore. But Magmol is just like, it has such a big hitbox, so it was, it was good for that clip in particular. Because guy, guy gets guy hit such a precise part of that of that rock that should clip out of bounds. So yeah. Also, we scanned that, we scanned that, uh... Just get a little switch there through through that port, like through the bottom of that barrier. Don't worry about it. We're so we got two artifacts here, and then we're just gonna go and just get missile jump away back to the ship because we can. We're just cool like that, and we are gone. Let's do one quick donation. Alrighty, we have five dollars from Jaxler that says, "Good luck, Shasta, Bergy." Bergy. Thanks, Jaxler. <laughs> All right, so now we're in Arctera again. We come back here because we're about to do some crazy stuff. We're about to, we're about to be really cool. But first, we got a boss fight to defeat. And this boss fight, uh, let's just say he might look a little bit, a little familiar. Just, 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 a, just a little bit. This is kind of the unfortunate thing about this game is that it's really heckin' cool. But unfortunately, due to, I think, many different reasons, this boss fight's repeated. It's Slunch again. So every, so we have to fight Slunch four times and Crepid four times, the bosses we fought earlier. It's a bit unfortunate. There's many, re there's many different theories as to why this is the case, where you fight them multiple times, but I, but like, I don't think there's anything ever set in stone, I want to say. I've been told in the past it might be because like the cutscenes cost a lot to make in general, but I really don't know. Might, might be because of like time constraints, budget restraints, like I'm, I'm not sure. It's been unfortunate. Maybe, maybe it's like DS cart limits, like the, the size of like the, the file on the, on the cart or whatever. I don't really know. But regardless, it's been unfortunate that boss fights repeat in this game. 
They are, however, different from each other. In this case, I can only hurt uh, Slunge here of Julie Care. And that's it. Sometimes if I get lucky, I can like do like a, I can do a charge on one of those tentacles and like it just, it destroys in just one go. Or like it, it does like two hits to it rather than just one. But it doesn't happen often. Oh, please. There we go. There we got it. Good snipe. Let's see if I can get the cutscene skip. Ah, oh, I was barely too far to the left. Oh well, that's okay. No big deal. We actually do skip another cutscene here of, of Samus collecting the Autolith by just being really close to it. <laughs> if you collect it within like one second of Sam of like of it appearing, then it just like skips that cutscene too. Which you know, you know what I'm talking about because we haven't seen it yet, and that's good. <laughs> Let's go. But yeah, now we're gonna be quote unquote escaping. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. First off, we're gonna get this uh, UA tank down here because it's just, it's convenient. If we got it earlier, uh, this this uh, this little boost pad here will not be here. But yeah, now we're gonna do something called uh, trace skip. Trace skip is where we skip the, the the hunter trace, and also we go to the second half of of uh, our Terra here, like earlier than intended. So we're gonna do, I'm gonna do a very precise out of bounds here where I want to be. Oh, I didn't get it. Okay, so I clicked out of bounds, but oh crap! Actually, that's not good. <laughs> yeah, I, I clicked back in bounds of the wrong part, <laughs> so I have to actually do this. Hold on, we gotta do that again real quick. That's okay. So the idea there is I need to clip out of bounds and keep everything loaded in. And now if I do that, then we're able to skip trace and we're able to actually get to the second half of Arctera way earlier than intended. Because currently there's a barrier block in the area that we can't carry around unless we do this. So let's do that again. No big deal or anything, it's all good. My estimate's a, my estimate's a little bit generous because I, mostly because of Volt Driver early, which I got first try this run, like no problem. And because of one trick we're going to be doing in the next segment. But we'll get there when we get there. So like, it's all good. This is, this, this, is not, this is not a bad time loss or anything. It's, it's a marathon anyways. I'm not going for a PB today. We're just, we're having fun. We're having, we're getting a PB and having fun in, 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 the, in the speed run. That's, that's what we're doing. Aw, oh, dang it. Didn't get it. Like I said, very precise out of bounds. Got, I have a visual cue for this that that usually works, but it's it's a little tricky. Like that? Yeah, there we go. See, notice how this time everything was loaded in to my to my right there. That's that's what I want because now I can get around this barrier and everything's loaded in. And now if Magma can access this door and we can go to the second half of Alina, of uh, Arctera. Not Alinos. That is not Alinos. This is Arctera. We gotta defeat four of these little guys right here. Four of these little dudes. You're just a little dude. Sorry, little dudes. So yeah, let's go. Going right back over here. And we could use Shock Quillow for this boss right here. This rescan of the boss we just fought a second ago. Back on Alinos. But I prefer using Magma on this one. I, whenever I use Shock Quillow, it just doesn't work out for me. Also, this, this boss is also very laggy too. Alright, cool. We, we did it. And now we get my favorite weapon in the entire game. This is Imperialist. It's like a sniper rifle, essentially. That's that's the idea behind it. Gonna lock that door, and then I think I should got the no-scope timing. Hold on. Let's see if I get a no-scope here. Hey, got the no-scope. Let's go. <laughs> if, if you tap the icon of, of Imperialist, you can zoom in with it, just like a sniper rifle. Or if you press L, I think. Or R. Uh, no, I press, I press R, because L shoots. <laughs> but, yeah. Now we're going to make our way over here. Now they have Imperialist, we can go, we can access this door here. So we're just going to, we're just going to do that. We're going to do the thing. UA tank right there we got to get. Then we got to scan three things in this room in order to unlock a barrier, in order to unlock a barrier in this room. Just like that. And there it is. Now we do a 1 AE. Bam. <laughs> Alright, there we go. 
And that was, this unlocks the artifact. By the way, if someone donates like $200, I will, I will do a 360 no scope just for you. On, on, on whatever enemy is closest to me at the time. <laughs> Come on, hello? Oh, I'm missing, I'm missing. Messing up, I'm beefing it. All right, we got it. We got to defeat two guardians in that room in order to actually get out of here again. It's random where they kind of go. In this case, I got a little bit lucky. And they both just kind of spawned over there and I was able to get both of them. But yeah, now we go, now I got to backtrack just a little bit to get back to that the previous room we were at, where we got, where we got Imperialist, right over here. The door cannot be open with that weapon. So there is so bit. By the way, we're supposed to be, we're still we're still supposed to be escaping. By the way, I just want to point that out once again. <laughs> this is all just super unintended right now. Oh, I missed. <laughs> ah, butterfingers. But yeah, this is all just super unintended. We're not supposed to, we're supposed to be escaping still. They give us a very, very generous timer for, for this part. I, I don't know why, because like, normally escaping this section is like not super, doesn't take too long. And two missiles for that guy, there we go. That's the one time you use missiles for actual combat in this game, by the way, is just to destroy that one enemy. Otherwise we use it just clip out of bounds mostly and missile jump. It's pretty great, right? <laughs> Alright, so fun fact about this missile jump right here. This, this, this skips us having to do having to shoot a pillar, which is knocked down. Which like caused the cutscene of, of it just being knocked down and stuff. And later on in the run, that pillar's gonna be knocked down anyway, so we just save like five seconds by doing that. Kinda cool. It's pretty neat, if you will. I missed a cycle there, but don't worry about it. We're just gonna wait. <laughs> there we go, there's just 360 no scope. But like, I didn't shoot anything, so it wasn't cool or anything, but that's just to prove I can do it. And now, once again, if you scan a portal for the first time, we can escape. And we're gone. That was our Terra. And now, we might have noticed so far, if you've ever played this game before, there's there's four plants in this game. And I've only gotten to three of them. Well, now we're going to the to the, to the the last plant I've not gotten to yet, to Vesper Defense Outpost. Let's get a donation real quick while the cutscene's playing here. All right, I've got another big one for you. We have five hundred dollars from Kina Puppers that says, "Been watching GDQ for years. Made some small donations, but I'm finally able to give a bigger donation. So this is for kicking cancer's butt. It's great to watch Shasta rip hunters apart. Good luck to all the runners, and may your iffy skips go well." Thank you, thank you. Appreciate the donation. All right, so yeah, this, this I, I, I'm gonna call this area VDO because Vesper Defense Outpost is a a long name. We're calling it VDO from now on. We're in VDO now, and what we're gonna do right off the bat is go straight to where the final weapon of the game is that we've not gotten yet. We're about halfway through this run right now, and we're about to get the last weapon of the run. <laughs> just to show, just to prove kind of like how broken this game is a bit. <laughs> It's just right over here. It's also, in my, in my opinion, the worst weapon in the run, and just in the game in general. So we're gonna do now bounds right here. Oops, messed up just a little bit. There we go. And, that, and that's Ballhammer. Now bounds saves like 40 seconds, by the way. It's ridiculous. Because otherwise, you have to watch like multiple cutscenes in that room that just take a while. You have to scan like a bunch of different things in general. Unfortunately for me, since I failed that cut, since I failed that, that trick once, I have to wait for his, this uh, platform here. Which is fine, but yeah. Something, something, we lost the frames, losing the run. Whoa, oh no. Can't believe it. <laughs> yeah, now, we, now we're going over here, so we're, gonna, so we're gonna unlock this area for later. We're looking, at, we're, 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 looking at, we're looking out for future Shasta right here. That's what we're doing here. Going to right there, scan that thing. This will unlock the barrier below us, which is important for actually advance advancing through this area. There we're going right over here. Gonna scan this thing from out of view because we're cool like that. 
This will unlock a UA tank for us later because all items. Simple as that, really. Just a reminder, we're getting all the items in this run. <laughs> or in this game, rather, while we're doing the run. And now we're going to do uh, kind of a kind of a tough out of bounds or not out of bounds, a, a tough little clip here. We're going we're to clip into a crystal, which contains an artifact. But the way we do it is we have to shoot the wall. And right before the missile hits the wall, I need, I need to press right. That should go inside the crystal. It's pretty tricky. Just kidding. I got a first try. We're good. <laughs> I've been pretty good at that lately. It's like, heck yeah, let's go. And then first thing right here, we're going to shoot up a charged UK and then a few regular power, power beam shots. And now it's gone. And then we're going to lock that door there, which isn't rest of people to get through yet because we have Imperialist. And now we're just going to go up here and fight Silex. If I miss this shot here, this fight becomes way harder. Oh, I missed it. No. Oh, the humanity. Oh, the humanity. Oh, no. This fight's way harder now. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, well, that's fine. We got it. <laughs> We're good. We're good. Don't worry about it. It's okay. All right, so now, now we're going to fight Silas again. This is the second half of the fight. Right here. This time, I'll just shoot him in the, in the head there. No problem. Zip here right in front of us. And I got to shoot him a few more times with my power beam, and he should be dead. Hello? Hello? Please? 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 There we go. Okay, now we're good. <laughs> So if we if we do that second half of the fight fast enough, we actually overlap two cutscenes there. Because nor normally what's supposed to happen is his ship's gonna come down and start shooting us. But if we over if we overlap the cutscenes, if we do it fast enough, his ship just, his ship just won't be there in the sky. And it'll still keep shooting us like that. So you can still hear in the background. It's not supposed to be happening. <laughs> so that's artifact number two in this area. Now we're going to go down here, back to that room where we unlocked that those barriers earlier, and then just go through them real quick. Oops. Oh, no. Excuse me, sir. You're in my way. Thank you. I love the music in this area, by the way. <laughs> It's, it's very good. This game's music in general is just super, super underrated, I feel. It's just like regular Prime music, you know? Only bad thing is on the, and it's on the DS, the DS sound fonts, but it's okay. It's all good, I, I forgive it. That's not, nothing you can do about it, after all. Yeah, going through this barrier right here, and then one more artifact right up here. And the boss portal is actually right below us, too. Unfortunately for us, we have to defeat this enemy, this guardian here that spawns before we can get in there. And hopefully it spawns right in front. Nope, it went below me. Thank you, dude. Very cool. All right, so this is going to be a little bit more tricky now. We got it. Okay, we're good. <laughs> that guardian can start moving around a lot if we don't kill it immediately there. So that, that was good. Oh, yeah, fun fact. Imperialist does, Imperialist does more damage there if we, uh, if we zoom in with it. Don't know why, but it's a thing. Alright, so here's Credit again. This is Credit 2 in particular. So, what we gotta do for this fight is use Magma to destroy his eyes as fast as we can, because he's got a huge blast radius. Since we have all the weapons in the game, we also use Shock Coil now for the Crystal, and it's just gone. Oops. Alright, we're for Pete's. Now for phase three, the eyes actually appear randomly. I'm, as far as I'm aware at least. They kind of open just in a, in a random in a random fashion. So I got I got I gotta be wary of, of like how many eyes are destroyed on each layer of them and everything. Like I, I missed this one here. And we're good. Oh, I, I, I jumped a little too early. If you jump at the right time, you're able, you're able to actually get the Octolith like as soon as as soon as the fight ends. And it's pretty cool. I don't think it really saves like much time, but it's swag for sure. All right, I'm, I'm gonna get all the health in this room just for safety, because I'm about to I'm about to do a few very cool out of bounds during this escape sequence here. 
And I'm, I'm also about to do something that's, that is kind of, could kind of blow your mind a little bit, I think. But first we gotta get there, though. So yeah, like I, like I mentioned, we're not, we're not gonna be escaping here just, just yet. We're gonna be going over to where, to that door we unlocked earlier. <clears throat> Going right over here, and we're doing and, and during the escape sequence, there's actually a barrier that the game puts up right in front of where that door is, that unlocked using Imperialist. So we have to clip around that, basically. That's what we gotta do. And to do that, we have to do kind of a precise out of bounds. This one's very weird. Yeah, like in this case, I clipped like past the door and had to go right onto it again, but it worked. First try. Let's go. And now here's the part that's stressful. So I'm about to get this, this artifact here to my right, this one right here, uh, while out of bounds. I'm gonna flip out of bounds and then I have to jump. I have to do a coyote jump, which this game has, by the way. It's pretty cool. I have to do, I have to do that while, uh, like, right before, like right after I fall like out of bounds here. So there's there's a morph ball clip. And okay, we didn't get it, but we're, we're in bounds still, so that's good. If I fail it, I die and lose a minute, over a minute rather. All right, so please, third try. This might take me a few tries, and that's okay. Nope, all right. Let's try it again. This clip is very simple, as you can tell. You just gotta go in the corner here and morph ball. Nothing more than that. Ah, I was really close that time. All right, we got this, we got this. Oops. Okay, I keep messing my navigation of outbound, so I keep clipping in on accidents. That's a, uh, it's a little oopsie doopsie for me, but it's okay. Nope. All right, we didn't get it. And jumping a little bit early every time, which is fine. Totally okay. Gotta get this quickly though. We're, we're still on an escape timer, by the way. All right, got it. But am I good? I'm good. Let's go. <laughs> All right, that took a little bit. Woo. Thank goodness. Last try. I see you. Thank you for the gifts of the Yeti.com. Y'all should go to the Yeti.com, by the way, to order some shirts there. They make some great stuff. Shout out to the Yeti.com. They're super cool. Big fans, personally. The current shirt I'm wearing right now is actually Metro Red shirt from, from the Yeti.com. But yeah, anyways, <laughs> enough, about, enough about that. So what we're doing right here is that I just started a timer and game still has this currently escaping. Like you can hear from the music, we're still supposed to be escaping. Hello, thank you. So if I override the escape timer of two different timers, it'll cancel the entire escape sequence. So we can do this area in one go now, instead of in multiple, and instead of in like two or three. So now after getting, now after uh, getting this thing here, th this timer, or this like switch here, the entire escape sequence just is just straight up canceled. We are good. Like we don't have to. We don't have to go, go back to our ship or anything and leave. We're good. And also the artifact I got earlier from Out of Bounds, the one that took me to me a little bit. Like that one there. Since I got that, I skipped this fight. It's about to spawn right here. <laughs> so yeah, pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool stuff, I'd say. This fight's also very, very luck-based. All the Guardians just kind of go where, where, wherever the heck they want. It's really annoying. But but because we because we got the artifact early, it's the, the door right there is unlocked, so we're good. <laughs> we are totally fine. Let's actually get a, a quick donation during this part. Absolutely. We have $200 from KC Stranger that says 360 no scope. Oh, I gotta do it now. <laughs> uh, can I do it right here? Uh, I might be able to. I go. I gotta go my way for it. I, I could do it though. Oh, I got an idea. I got an idea. All right, I'll, I'll do it at the end of the segments. I got an idea for where I should do it. This is gonna be good. All right. So for now, uh, something happened, and now we now we got another timer. We got we got to worry about. So this one. We have a man to get to the top of this area and, and scan something, essentially. So we'll be doing that. Nice little coyote jump there for the fans. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm going to scan this most of the way through. 
like that, and then complete the scan as I'm falling off the, off the ledge there, and I fall all the way down to the bottom, just like that, and then we're, and we're good. By the way, on the real 3DS, gonna put that again real quick. Just for people who are curious like what I'm playing on, why I'm looking down all the time, that's why. Shout out to 3DS capture cards, pretty cool thing. Shout out to Delfino Customs, they're pretty cool. But yeah, anyways, we're gonna go right up here. Scan this. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna do something cool in seconds. I'm gonna I'm gonna do that 360 no skip for you, but I'm gonna do it off of this uh, platform I'm about to clip I'm about to jump back up on. I forget I forget the I forget the artifacts. Let's see if I but first I have to do this bomb jump here and then boost right after the second bomb. Gives me just enough height to get up here, if I do it correctly. There we go. Alright, so we're gonna go for it right here off this turret. See this turret right here? Oh, I actually accidentally zoomed in. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, I missed. Dang it. <laughs> I missed it. <laughs> uh, we'll go for it one more time, and then if I don't get it, it's fine. I have a little bit more health. As long as I can get up here. Oh my goodness. Okay, come on. Please? Hello? Hello? <laughs> come on. You got the same, so I believe in you. All right, maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't go for it again if I'm if I'm wasting time. <laughs> Come on, you! I believe in you. You got this. I believe. All right, there we go. Just kidding. We're going for it again. Oh, okay, well, I didn't get it, so whatever. <laughs> All right, so we're not. We're not. We won't, we won't get it this time. But I, I went for it though. I, I attempted it. Give the good old college try, but I need I need the health for the boss now, so yeah. I'll go for it again later, if anything. Don't worry, chat. I, 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 I won't I won't do, I won't leave you high and dry like that. Don't you worry. <laughs> Typical GEQ luck, of course. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. N now it's boss fight time. So, so this is two boss fights in one in one area now, which shouldn't be happening. But here we are. So cool. <laughs> but yeah, so this is Slunge Four in particular. Slunge Four is uh, his gimmick is he's on the ceiling here. His other gimmick is that he's gonna start rolling around as soon as he comes down on the floor. And once he comes down here. There's actually an optimization you can do for this that has this, this phase end a bit earlier. You have to bomb him a certain amount of times, like per per cycle he does this. But otherwise you can't hurt him at all in this case. And unfortunately if I try to bomb him here, if I try and go for that optimization, I have the chance of soft locking, so I'm not gonna attempt it. But if you wanna see it, check out Verilux's world record on uh, spear.com. It's a really cool run too. He, he put a lot of time in this game like last year and last few years really, but yeah. Shout out to Verilix. Wait, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show off one quick thing here, then I'll, I'll, I'll hand off to the nations in a second. So, so uh, he's gonna do this again. So I'm gonna show this off real quickly because I'm not going for that cool optimization here. So if I morph ball in this door and then unmorph, my camera just starts like going up here for some reason. I'm shooting from the corner. I don't know why. And just to prove that I'm actually shooting from the corner, uh, yeah. <laughs> Why'd that hurt me? This makes no, this makes no sense. <laughs> That's the thing. Oh yeah, orb by the way, yeah. My, my bad, sorry. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we need some more donations in real quick. Absolutely, we have $360 from Fred who says, one dollar for each degree while well, no scoping. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Let's get some more in. This is large this fight's the same. Alrighty, we have $25 from Metalhead3 that says, Love Metroid, love the runs, keep them coming. We also have $25 from Overlord381 that says, Shasta's enthusiasm is so infectious. Watching the run with a smile on my face. Happy AGDQ day. Greetings from the Netherlands. Yo, shout out to me having to wait during this part, so I actually got in the hype train there. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, go for it. One more. 
right, we have $10 from Lion Yeti that says, first of many donations for the week. Here's to Mr. Shasta. Thank you, thank you. All right, so go for a cuts and skip once more. Ah, oh, I, right, I was right behind it. I have one more chance to get a cuts and skip on, on this lunch fight. Hopefully I can get the last one, but we'll see. All good, no big deal. Is that five, Oculus? I think it's five of them now. Four or five. No, it's five, yeah. We have, we have three more segments after this. And then final boss. All right, so now we're, just, now we're just gonna escape. And like earlier, uh, we, have to, we have to get around that one barrier that we that we uh, clipped through a second ago. All right, so you actually get in this area. It's currently unloaded though. So what I'm gonna do for this is I'm gonna shoot the door like this and then jump up like that. I pause right at the very peak of my jump, wait for the map to load in and it clips me right past the barrier there, no problem. And now we can escape. I love that one because you actually take advantage of pausing, which like, if we pause this game, it actually loads the next area a bit faster. But it's one of those things we don't worry about optimizing because it's, it's like super annoying. <laughs> one of those world record strats, if you will, if you really want to like improve your run just a little bit, is like pausing at the right time there during load screens. Or during load areas, rather. But yeah, that's VDO right there. We got every item in VDO, every weapon in VDO, and defeated like all the bosses in VDO. <laughs> We are good. We, we're, we're, we're out of there. We're done with the area. All in just one visit. It's one long visit, but one visit nonetheless. And yeah, now we're just going to get the last three artifacts in each of, the, each of these last three areas, and then we're good after that. So first off, we're going back to Arctera here and getting uh, this one. It's right over here. This one takes a little bit. We could have got it during that last segment, too, where we sequence broke the entire escape sequence. But it doesn't really save time to do so, because we, we have to exit that portal anyways. Like, even if we got all three of them, we, wouldn't, we would not have enough time to actually beat the boss at the end of it to, to get, like, a different timer and everything. Also, right here, we, did, we just skipped an auto-scroller by going around, going around the room instead. So that's pretty cool. Love that one. All right, so on the Japanese version, you, you actually skip this, this uh, portal maze here. For some reason, the elevator right at the end of it just kind of works on its own. Don't know why, but it's a thing. But English version, you have to just do that to, to get around it. It's not much slower, but it's it's a little slower, of course. I forgot to mention that too, but last time I ran this game in a GEQ, I was playing on the Japanese version. But turns out now the English version is faster, mostly because of Weevil Skip we, we did back in like the beginning of the run. That's mostly why. That saves like over a minute on its own. And I guess like the time saves equal out to like English saving time overall. But no, I know both, ver both versions are very close in time though. It's really cool. <laughs> yeah, final artifact right here. And then actually an an another little cool time save as well is that for some reason on uh, English, this this uh, platform right here is just down all the time once it gets to the bottom here. But on Japanese, you have to make a cycle there instead. It keeps going up and down like over and over again. All right, now I have to defeat six guardians to get out of this room. This part's a little, this part's pretty tricky. No, I'm not gonna lie with you. I gotta aim, I gotta aim very well here. This one's gonna spawn in a second, shoots battle hammer. This one's annoying. Cause it'll like, it'll shoot the other guardians around me too. Hello, I'm getting all these. I'm incredible, I'm gaming. All right, well, there we go, Never mind. This part wasn't tricky at all. I just, I just defeated them all in six shots, that's cool. <laughs> All right, well, that was great. <laughs> that was really cool. Big fan. All right. <laughs> well then, that happened. <laughs> Normally that part's a bit of a struggle because uh, once the ballot hammer guardian comes down, it's a uh, he'll hit the other guardians and, and move them out of the way in front of me. In general, in general with the AI of this game, especially the the enemy AI, if you if you stand still, they don't know what to do. They'll, they'll go to the same spot every time and just like be there. Just, just stand there for whatever reason. But <laughs> I didn't have to worry about that this time. I, I I gamed really hard. I was a huge gamer today. Let's go. 
All right, now, now we're going to the boss portal. Now we're going to do the thing we got to do to beat the game. That's what we're going to do. So this is this is Crayfit 4 right here. You notice the fourth one, the last version of him, because he moves around. Whoa! It's not much. It's not much more difficult, honestly. It's it's pretty it's pretty simple still. Let's see if I can get this though. Got it. Nice. All right. So same deal here. Just gonna shoot his eyes when it pops up. Uh, we can probably redo it in this part. I'm just, I'm kind of doing the same thing over and over again. For sure, we have $100 from Casey Stranger who says, I'll forgive you for the fail 360 if you beat my Frogger's Adventures two times. Oh. Uh, I'll, we'll see. <laughs> I only plan to run that game again, but like, yeah, we'll see, I guess, I don't know. Thank you for the donation though. I go for it. All right, we have $10 from just another bounty hunter who says, Metroid Prime Hunters, what a fantastic game. Seeing Mr. Shasta running this game is a trip. I never thought I'd see it again. You're doing great, bud. Love the enthusiasm of your speedruns. P.S. Noxus was my fave. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, though. Thank you. My favorite is probably Silex, personally. Silex is really cool. He uses the shock coil weapon and everything. He also appears in Metroid Prime 3 as well, apparently. So I haven't played the game myself. Looking forward to Prime 4, by the way. Prime 4 is gonna be great. Whenever that comes out. Games take time, after all. That game was like redone three years ago. It, it, it'll take a little bit, but I'm, I'm, I'm ready for it. I, I'm, I'm so excited when the game finally comes out, though. That's gonna be, it's gonna be so cool. But yeah, we gotta escape again. Simple as that. We, we're, we already used both the portals in this area, so we, we can't use either of them during escape now. So we just gotta go out, we gotta go out the old fashioned way. All right, so sometimes also randomly in this room, a hunter can spawn. Thankfully this time that didn't happen though. During my latest practice run, Spire spawned there and it was very annoying, but we're good. So our ship's at the very top of this giant structure here. We gotta just climb to the top of it and hopefully not fall down either. That thing, okay, it just like shot me in the air. That was really weird. <laughs> And we're right over here, a little, little boosting action for you. Then we're gonna not fall down here. Cool. We're good. Oh damn, that was a rainbow split in my splits. Let's go. Shout out to getting best segments during your GEQ runs. <laughs> That's cool, I guess. I'm, I'm, I'm down for that. All right, so we're, we're back to the Slushy Archives now. Finally, after an hour of gameplay, we're finally back to the first area of the game. <laughs> But yeah, early, earlier in the run, we had everything in the in, in Celestial Archives except for getting the last the last artifact, which we couldn't do yet because we had Battle Hammer to actually defeat the boss here. So like, if we get unlock the boss portal, there'd be no points. There's part I'm just kind of waiting for his for his uh, platforms to rise up just a little bit. Then we get the last artifact in a second. This room is pretty boring, so yeah, it's been fortunate, but it's what it is. So when we're in this game in Japanese, I used, used to call those parts uh, plot skip because I can't read Japanese. But this is in English now, so we're, just, we're, we're, we're uh, I can't acknowledge the plot again. There we go. <laughs> These guys can four things that tell you that tell you some lore. That's all we gotta do, and we get the artifact from that. All right, now we're getting getting E tank as well before we fight the boss. Before, we're getting, we're, we're getting e tank as well too before we fight the boss, and then we're gonna go back there. But for now, since there's a bunch of port, bunch of platforms gotta wait for, let's get another donation in. Yep, we have twenty five dollars from Universal Giant who says AGDQ is always one of the highlights of my year. Thank you to everyone involved for all that you do. Looking forward to an amazing week of runs and a good luck with Metroid Prime Hunters for the Nintendo DS, Shasta. <laughs> Thank you, Uni. Appreciate it. By the way, uh, I forgot to even say it, but whenever I refer to this game, I always call it Metro Prime Hunters for Nintendo DS. You gotta you got give the full name, it's very important. So that's the also refer to it as such. <laughs> Cause, oh, it's funny. It's funny. Uh, no, not, not, not just yet. All right, so we, we got the boss, we got Slunch 3. Slunch 3 can only be hurt by uh, Battlehammer, which like I said earlier, is my least favorite one in the entire game. 
It works kind of like a machine gun, if you will, except it's very weak and it has like an arc to it. It has like an arc to its shot. What I can do for his boss fight though is save, to save a little bit of time, save a little bit of time on it is I can do I can shoot a charge missile, like right right into like his weak spot there, and it does a little bit more damage than just using a uh, battle hammer. So my kids, I'm just holding down L here, so I can just keep shooting it constantly, just like that. We're gonna do that a second time, and then for the very final phase here. If I do it correctly, which like I literally have to do it like perfectly, I can actually one cycle it just like that again. But it's like it's one of those things I've never gotten before. So I don't know, maybe it'll happen right here. GEQ luck, marathon luck, I don't know. Oh, I was actually really close there. I was two shots off, I think. I was three shots off. Very good though. And see if we get the cutscene skip. Oh, no, I was, was a bit more to the right again. That's fine. Those are hard to get. You have to kind of just, like, guess a lot of the time. There's no, there's no good, like, visual key or anything. All good, though. All good. We got one. We, I showed off one of them earlier in the run, so, like, it's fine. No big deal. Now we're going to go ahead and escape. And on, on the way out of here, we're going to do a, get a little bit... We're going to catch a little bit of a tight segment here. Or catch a, a tight platform cycle, rather. Got boost right there. Go down here, then immediately boost right here. If we do it correctly, we catch a, we catch a cycle, no problem. There we go. That was really nice. And also on the way out of here, I'll show I'll show off how to do that one that one room super fast. The one that I took very slowly way earlier on the run because I was nervous. That's gonna that's gonna that's com that's coming up again in a second. Sorry, I got a little I got a little bit of a stutter. It's all good though. Yeah, this room, this room right here. All right, so from the reverse, we gotta do this coyote jump right here, and then after hit the left side or the right side of the yeah, there you go. <laughs> I I gotta hit the right side of that little bar, of the little pipe right there at second out. If I don't, I can't jump for some reason. I don't know why. I'll take a. I'll. I'll. I'll uh, I try. I, I tried to show that off. Didn't work out in this case. We'll. We'll do that again. But not do that part. That's what we'll do. It's all good. Like I said, Esma's very generous. I got past all the hard stuff of this run already. The stuff I was worried about. So like, I'm good. I'm chilling right now, honestly. This, this whole. This whole last few segments here is just a big victory lap for me. <laughs> It's also pretty chill, like once we get past VDO as well too, because at this point we're just we're just cleaning up like three areas we have we have not cleaned up yet. That's all we're really doing. So yeah, let's let's uh, let's do the thing now. Oh yeah, also fun fact in this game: for some reason, unlike Metroid Prime, you do, you you actually uh, you straight up die when we fall into a void like this. All right, we'll do, we'll do a cow jump right here. There we go. That's easy. I guess we'll just be a little bit safe here too. Might, might as well. This room is very, very tricky. It's the hardest one in the game to do well. Of course, we do it both times during an escape sequence, so you know. <laughs> that's that's cool, I guess. I forgot what I was saying before. Don't worry about it. I stand in this doorway here so that both these guardians go right in front of me. So I can just defeat them. There we go. Right down here. Go right in this portal. And then we're going to scan this uh, portal here for the first time ever during this escape sequence, so we can actually exit through it instead of going all the way back through Slush Gear Archives the normal way. Oops. So if you're playing this game casually, by the way, be sure to do this. It's, it's just a really cool thing to do. But before we go, there's one I am right down here we gotta get. There's a UA tank right over here. There it is. And now, and now we go back in our ship. Now we're good. Cool. Now we're going back to Elinos for, for the final time. This is also where our last artifact is too. So we're gonna go right into this portal over here. 
And right after that, we're gonna do, we're gonna do, we're gonna do a really cool out of bounds that I actually really like a lot. <laughs> so we're going to this morph ball tunnel right here. And then I'm gonna try and hold back here and unmorph. There we go. That'll get me stuck inside the morph ball tunnel. I'm gonna hit that, hit that door, char charge this missile, go up here, shoot at, at myself, then go right into the morph ball tunnel, just like this. And then clip right out once again with a missile, and then we're good. This this skips the entire morph ball maze or morph ball like yeah I guess morph ball maze section. I don't know what to call it. It it's a section of the, it's a section of the game where in morph ball and if you mess it up you 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 just, you, you just die. There's no, no no way around it. It's my least favorite part of the game. So we skip that and we go right over here. Also we're not supposed to be like staying up in the area either. The game forces us into morph ball if we if we morph there so. Yeah, we weren't supposed to be doing that, to say the least. <laughs> yeah, with that, we got the last artifact, and now we're just straight in the boss. This boss fight's very simple. It's 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 credit fit three. This is the last one we gotta face here. It's not it's like the same as like the first one, but it has lasers now. That's that's all it is. So if you want to some donations during this part, that's totally fine. For sure. All right. We have $25 from Zyron that says, Some god tier gaming going on in this Metroid Prime Hunters run. Love Mr. Shaw's commentary. So much enthused. Keep it up. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you. Appreciate it. And keep going. All righty. We have $50 from Petrified Monkey that says, More Metroid equals more happy. Good luck to all the runners and a huge thank you to everyone who helps put these together. We also have $25 from Zero One that says, looking forward to the Metroid Prime Hunters run. Good luck, Mr. Shasta. Thank you, thank you. Let's give a little more. All right, we have $25 from Broderick that simply says, Metroid, let's go! Let's go! Love you, Metroid, thank you. Shout out to Metroid Dread, by the way. I'm wearing a Metroid Dread shirt right now, if you can see that. There we go. Like I mentioned earlier, that was from theae.com. Y'all should go to theae.com so, so you can get some shirts there and stuff. And also, currently the profits of the GQ shirts go towards the charity, so that's pretty cool. Big fan of that. Shout out to the Yeti. Anyways, back to the run. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I just like them. I just like what they do a lot, okay? <laughs> oh, we got a hunter in this room. Okay, well, that's cool. Anyways, we can just leave. <laughs> My voice be cracking? Yeah, it, it does that. <laughs> I'm 26 years old and like, I'm still, I'm in like 12th puberty still. It's fine. <laughs> it just happens, I don't know why. <laughs> We're going right up here now to get this missile tank. Usually there's like an or there's like an orange barrier there. We got hits using magma, but for some reason during this escape sequence, it's just kind of not there. Don't know why, but yeah, there's no there's no better time to get that in the run, so we just, we get it right then. And then, Whee! yo, I clipped into the morph tunnel. Yo, that's sick. <laughs> that happens sometimes if you jump correctly there. It's cool. <laughs> All right, so this very next room, I tried to RNG nip earlier, but it didn't work. So we're gonna see if we get an enemy in here or not, it's more like a hunter or a guardian. If we get a hunter or a guardian, we have to kill them. And we have not, we got nothing, nice. Music did not change at all, so we're good. Awesome. We will get something in this room though. There's always something in this room. Oh, we got a hunter in this room, oh no. Where are you? There are you, hi Silex. Thankfully, this time he's the, he's the only thing in this room. So in my practice run of this game, I had a hunter and three guardians in that room, which is the worst luck you can get. And I had to defeat all of them to get into this room here. And we go into this room here, by the way, because it unlocks the final area of the game. This is where uh, Oubliette, the final area is unlocked, is in that room. And now that we did that, we actually canceled the escape sequence, which for the current route doesn't matter too much at all, but it might, it might affect something. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, for now we're gonna clean up the final items in, in uh, Elinos here, and then we're gonna go and just go defeat the final boss. 
But first, we gotta go through this funny little segment. So this, this is this is the this is the acid pits. We're currently in just in a huge pool of acid and just falling all the way down here. And we're gonna try and just get through as fast as we can. Oops. Hello. That's not fast. Excuse me. I'm sorry. My apologies. <clears throat> It's very tricky to do this because, like, just you have, to, you have to boost at just the right time. It's a uh, very easy to just get stuck here instead sometimes, or boost the wrong way like that. There we go. Just go. Wee! Bombs are just right up there. No problem. And once again, just pulling ourselves up. It's it's so cool. Then, but he was correctly. Oh, I actually went right past the, the ledge. No big deal. I was trying to hit that very edge of that ledge there, so I can not at the very top of the screen, just go straight to the UA tank. No big deal though. No big deal. <laughs> Love that part. It's so cool. <laughs> it's just funny in general. Yeah. Now we gotta go back over here this way, and because we we did the, the maze skip earlier, there's currently a barrier right in front of. Uh, where we normally get out of here. Also, I need to destroy this guardian too because he, he spawned here. If I destroy that one right now and just leave him and leave him alone, then actually he's sloth lock. <laughs> so that's pretty important there. But yeah, there's an e tank right there we gotta get, and then we're gonna go do this funny little clip to get out of here. Check this out. Wait for it. Wait for it. There we go. <laughs> nice. I love it. I love that's a thing there. It, ma it makes this whole rap possible. But yeah. With that, we're. We actually did not get a Guardian spawn in this room either, so we can just leave. We're just going to get the heck out of here, as they say. We're going to go ahead and skedaddle, if you will. And with that, we're going to unlock the final area of the game, Oubliettes. I think there is probably going to get uh, one or two quick donations while things, while things going on. For sure. All right, we have $25 from Hikari that says, so happy to see Metroid Hunters today. Shout out to Mr. Shasta for a great run. Missed the crowds and such, but a major thanks to the AGDQ team for continuing to bring a fantastic show regardless. Good runs and good luck to all the runners. Let's give one more. We have $25 from Maticus that says, actually met a lot of lifelong friends of, to the Metroid Prime community online. So it's awesome to see it on AGDQ this year. Let's kick, let's kick Cancer's butt and meet some goals. Absolutely, could agree more. Thank you very much. So this is Oubliette. This is the final area of the game. All that's really here is one E tank we're gonna get in a second, and then the uh, the final boss after that. Now, for those who have played this game before, uh, we're actually gonna be doing the the second phase of the final boss as well. So look forward to that one. Also, we're not supposed to be able to jump on those rocks to get to get up to here. We're supposed to go through a morph ball tunnel. But you can just kind of do that. And with that, it should be every item in the game. I'll check after the run is done like on the on the foul select after the credits. The credits are short, so it's fine. But yeah, that's what we're going to do. All right, so here we go. Here, Here's the final boss of the game, Goria. At the very start of this fight, I'm going to go ahead and just shoot the, the stuff on the wall here. If we shoot this in the right order, It'll unlock the second phase of the final boss. So in this case, we gotta do yellow, green, and then orange over here. Then, we can, then we're gonna go over here and do blue, which you gotta get really up close for because shock, shock clothes like that. And then we gotta do purple and then red. And now, we, and now the second phase of the final boss is unlocked, and now we can talk about the fight. <laughs> so here's Goria. Goria is very random what he does. However, we can manipulate him to change phases like this. Each phase of the fight is important because we can only hurt him with a certain weapon during each phase of the fight, essentially. And in my case, I want to hurt him with a uh, Magmol, Shock Coil, and Imperialist. That's what I want to do. Orange, blue, red, essentially. And once we destroy his arms there, a, a, a giant ball is going to pop out just like this. It's gonna keep shooting it over and over again until it's gone. This thing takes a lot of hits. So we gotta be like super careful of this. Oops. There we go. Alright, phase one done. Now we're on to phase two. 
We're gonna hope that I don't mess up and make him change phases here. If we if we destroy his arm as he's doing an attack, it, there's a chance he can change phases. So we're gonna hope that he doesn't do that. Alright, we're good. Nice. And now the goal is to not break this shock hole. If you break the shock hole, it does less damage. Keep going around him here while this part's going on. Nice. If that thing grabs me, by the way, it'll still like throw me around the room a bit. It's really annoying. Wow, that was actually really good. And here's the final one right here. This is this is this is the imperialist phase. It's by far the best weapon to actually use on him, because uh, check this out. Yeah, <laughs> that's why. And now we, we have to do seven shots on the orb and he's dead. So there's two. Might get grabbed right here. Five, six, and then 360. Oh, I'm, oh I got it. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> For the fans, I got you. I got you, Twitch chat. I told, I told you I'd come back and do it. <laughs> I told you I'd come back and do it. Don't worry. <laughs> Okay, now we're on to the second phase of the final boss here. This is Goria 2. Uh, so we have, to, we have to wait until his crystal opens up after a little bit. And this gives us the final weapon of the run. This gives us the Omega Cannon, which is very OP in multiplayer. Once we defeat this, we're good. But for now, we get to hit him four times down here. And then after we hurt him right here, where he spawns in is random. We gotta hope that he doesn't randomly go to the bottom of this area. That was a good shot. <laughs> Alright, so I heard him twice and he teleports to a random location. If he, if he goes to the bottom, it loses me a lot of time. Which happened which happened in my first ever GQ run, by the way, so let's not have it happen here. Alright, two more shots, and time is very soon. Yep, I got I got really good luck. <laughs> nice. All right, time is very soon, and time. <laughs> Let's go. That was, that was almost a rainbow. What the heck? That was almost the best split. Let's go. <laughs> you love to see it. But yeah, thank you all for watching the Metro Prime Hunters from Nintendo DS. Hope you all enjoy the rest of the AGDQ. I'm not done yet. Don't worry. I'm, I sound like I was. I'm not done yet. <laughs> I want to give a, quick, a few quick shout-outs to the community in this game. Shout-outs to you, Dan, D-A-N-N, -A -A who found, like, a good amount of the glitches in this run, a good amount of the skips, and just generally has just been a huge pillar in the community for a while and has found just so much for this game in general. Shout-outs to him. Shout-outs to Verilix for being just really good at this game. His current world record is a 109 in this category, which is just mind-blowing, honestly. <laughs> He he's pushed his category so dang much. My team is a one like a low one fourteen, and like he he's done so well to beat he's done so well to beat that and just keep and keep moving on from there. Shout out to him. He's really good at this game. Shout out to Memory as well too for testing this game back in I think 2016? 2017? It's a really cool task. Like she beats this game in like 45 minutes or so. Which is awesome. There's a lot of really Really, really cool out of bounds on that task. You should check it out sometime. It's on, uh, I think, Task Videos YouTube somewhere. It's really cool. And shout out to everyone else who's ever run this game before. It's, it's, this game's community is very, very small. So, yeah, shout out to everyone who's ever run this game before. They're, they're pretty cool. Let's check if we got all the items, by the way. Which, in this game, there are seven, seven E tanks, nine missile tanks, and 12 UA tanks. I use the middle file here. Yep, there we go. Nine, nine missile expansions, 12 UA expansions, and seven E tanks. We're good. We got we got all the items. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, that's it for me. Thank you all for watching, and look forward to the rest of Age of the Q. If you... oh, I'm in Civ. My in Civ. I forgot my in Civ. <laughs> Dang it. My bad. Sorry about that. <laughs> I have an incentive I got to show you. So I'll be showing off uh, this right here. This is Metro Prime Hunter's first hunt the demo for Metro Prime Hunters. Let me go ahead and start that cart real quick before we, before we start this, it's pretty important. 
So this, this game has, so first time uh, everyone here donated for it. First off, thank you for donating for it. I totally didn't forget. <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> but uh, don't, I, I, I did practice this. So like, I, I think it's just key of the moment stuff, you know? I did practice this, so we're good. <laughs> but yeah, this, this, this car came packed in with uh, other, with uh, original DS systems back in the day. It's really cool. This intro is short too. Let's just, let's just, let's just play it now real quick. So yeah, to, to see, uh, to see like this game, like at the very start of like your DS, of, like, your DS journey back in 2004, when it first came out, it's like, it was like, to see like all the graphics and like what this game is capable of is just so cool, honestly though. But yeah, we'll be doing the regular mode right here. This this is the, the mode you can speed run in general. You can't you can't speed on the other two because they're on a timer. Yeah, you also just draw in the background here. It's it's pretty cool. <laughs> Anyways, uh if you're if y'all are already on time, I'm I'm ready as well too. So let me drink some water and let's go. So three, two, one, go. All right, so this game right here, like I said, functions differently from Metro Prime Hunters. It uh, we have limited ammo, and also to boost, we instead of pressing R, we press we press forward twice, which which is really annoying. For each of these rooms, we have to defeat we have to defeat all the enemies to advance. So we're going right here, defeating these four gamers here. There's actually six of them. There it is. And then we're gonna do, we're gonna do an outbounds clip right here. This one has no good setup for it. We just have to hope that we get it. And oh, we got it. Let's go. Nice. Yeah, if we go in that if we go in that little line there, we can just kind of clip out. We just got to clip past the door there and skip that room. It's really cool. You gotta be sure not to miss my my shots either. That's pretty important. There we go. Okay. And now we're gonna do, we're gonna do a super jump in this next room that I found personally. I'm a big fan of this one. So we're gonna go. Oh, hello. There we go. We're gonna go right over here. Uh, bomb and then unmorph and then immediately jump. I was too close to actually get a lot of high off of it. Hello. There we go. And bam. See that skips this room here, which otherwise we have to wait. We have to, we have to get. We have to wait some cycles to get through. And then right over here, we're gonna, we're gonna destroy a Metroid, which is just right here for some reason. Because it will get, get in our way, because we need to do this right here. This little, this cool little clip that by just going right in this, this uh, barrier and just jumping right over that doorway, skim that, skim that last room there. And we're almost done. This is the second last room of the demo here. Did I get all of them? I did get all of them. Let's go. Uh, for safety, I'll get this missile here though. And then this final boss is actually kind of random and hopefully won't kill me. But it has a chance to kill me. It's just kind of a green Samus. It's gonna kill me. It's gonna kill me. Oh no. It's gonna kill me. I gotta be careful. Oops. No, I got it. We're good. There we go. <laughs> I had enough health to survive it. We're good. That part's really scary. That's time right there. And we got 201 IGT. That's a smile. It's a big old smile right there. <laughs> I can't believe I actually didn't die there. I, was, I, I thought I was dead for sure. <laughs> but yeah, we're good. That, that, that's first hunts. Thank you all for donating for that. I, I, I love it. <laughs> I, I love that part. I love, I love it's like, it's such a short and sweet run. It's so cool. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's it. Now it's it for me. If y'all wanna see more, if y'all wanna see more speed runs on the DS, on the 3DS, on the GBA and other stuff like that, be sure to follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash MR underscore Shasta. I stream there a lot and I appreciate a follow for sure. And uh, shout out to Calithon, they're pretty cool too. Shout out to my sponsor Delfino Customs as well. They make 3DS capture cards, they're really cool. They're one of the few people doing it now, they're they're awesome. And shout out to GQ for having me once again. I'm always happy to be showing off Hunters for the first time in six years. It still weirds me out to say that it's been that long. And I appreciate that. Hope. Hope you enjoy the rest of the marathon. Thank you, thank you once again for having me. Hmm? Alrighty, thank you for that wonderful showcase of Metroid Prime Hunters. And if you want to find out more about the game or the community, make sure you move on over to Mr. Shasta's Twitch channel to find out more information. Alrighty, well, let's get into some of these donations. 
we have $250 from Misha Newby that says, welcome back to G2Q and everyone ready to see some awesome speedruns this week. Always the best time of the year. Good luck and have fun. Thank you so much for that. We have $50 from Purple RTA that says, happy AGDQ week, everyone. Thank you to all the amazing volunteers and runners for putting on such a great event. Thank you so much for that donation. We have $250 from Zalaros that says, love watching all the games get broken over the week of the event. Love what you guys do, for, do this for. Keep it up and let's go. Alrighty, GDQ, we're gonna take a quick break. So grab your couch or your cat, get on the couch, grab some comfy blankets, and we will be right back. Alrighty, let's check out some of these donations. We have $25 from Sarah of Mars that says, GDQ is my favorite time of the year. Let's see some Metal Gear, which we're actually getting fairly close to our incentive. So if you want to see the bonus run, make sure you get your donations in. And I also like to talk to you guys about one of our wonderful sponsors, Fan Gamer. Fangamer is a video game merchandise company that has branches in both Japan and Europe, but don't you worry, because they also have shipping worldwide. Sales of GDQ merch will, be, will benefit the Prevents Cancer Foundation, and if you want to find out more information, check out fangamer.com slash GDQ.
All righty. We have $50 from Mr. Popo that says, time for another GDQ. Really excited for the runs this year. Thank you so much for that donation. We have $15 from Edward who says, I took the week off to enjoy this, as is tradition. I hope you enjoy the rest of the marathon, Edward. We have $50 from Joel Ford that says, woohoo, new GDQ. Looking forward to ruining my sleep schedule as I catch up on the most anticipated runs all throughout the week. We have $25 from Goose with donation money. Yay, AGDQ is finally here, one of the greatest events during the year. This is the beginning of many donations to come. Thank you to everyone who puts these awesome events together. We have $5 from Matt H that says, I always look forward to AGDQ and the opportunity to do my part in helping fight against cancer. Thank you so much. And just as a reminder to everybody, $5 is a huge difference in this whole event. If just donating one or two or $5 is all you can give, it makes a massive difference and we appreciate everything that we can get. So if you have a couple dollars, we really appreciate it and don't feel bad if it's only a couple dollars because you're really making a difference for the Prevent Cancer Foundation. So thank you so much for that donation. We have $1,000 from an anonymous donor that says, let's start the week off strong and show cancer what we're made of. AGDQ hype. We have $25 from Agent Rodriguez that says, happy GDQ to all. Hard to believe six months already passed since the last event. Hope everyone is staying safe. Looking forward to the week ahead. Thank you so much for that donation. We have $25 from Elf that says, thanks GDQ for putting on this event time and time again. Thank you for watching time and time again. We have $250 from Kai, who simply says, much love from Germany. Thank you so much for that. We have $25 from Ven, who says, it's an absolute privilege to watch you all do great things to help smack cancer in the mouth. Thanks to all the runners, casters, and everyone behind the scenes. You're all legends. We have $25 from Matthew H that says, this is, this is dedicated to my aunt who managed to beat throat cancer a few years ago. Thank you so much for your donation. We have $250 from BioFreak that says, early detection saved my life when I was diagnosed with cancer two years ago. Today I am now in remission thanks to the early detection. And with that, everybody, my time as a host has come to an end. It has been an absolute honor to help kick off this marathon. Up next, we have some fabulous prizes that we want to show you all. Um, and here to show these fabulous prizes off, we have Scent and Mr. Game and Shout. My name is Purple Ghost Casper, and I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your GDQ week. Oh, come on.
Come on, did, did, you re did you really think I was gonna come out of the box? Like, like really? We did that like three years ago, and personally, I like to think that here at GDQ, Boss, we've gotten I've been I've been doing some math on this. So the good news is I think we can fit you in the box. The bad news is, um, do you like having bones? Um, th dang it, Shout. Uh, y you know what? Okay, maybe we haven't gotten much okay. better, but at least we're still having fun with it. Shout, how are you doing? I'm doing good, my friend. How about yourself? I'm doing great. Welcome back, everyone, to Awesome <sighs> Games Done Quick Online 2022. We're here. we're here. We're hanging out on the couch. We're showing you all some amazing prizes. For those of you who don't know, my name is Sent, and I'm joined here by my lovely assistant, I'm Mr. Game and Shout. It is awesome to be back with you again. And we are going to pop up all throughout the week to tell you all about some of the amazing prizes that you can win by donating during the marathon. Now, Shout, getting yourself entered to win a prize, super easy. Super all you have to easy. do is at least donate the minimum donation amount of the prize you want to win while that prize is available. It's as simple as that. You don't got to do anything else. You don't got to select any options. You can still put your donations towards any incentives that you want. You just got to make sure you get in that minimum donation amount. And that minimum donation amount right now is $50 for all of the prizes that we're going to talk about that are running out today. So make sure to get those donations in. Now, Shout, I think you've got something to kick us off, don't you? I do. So everything we're going to show you right now, unless otherwise stated, is available through the end of Death's Door a little bit later on. So we're going to go ahead and start it off here at $5. From our friends at Cute Monster Props, we have this lovely little Donkey Kong Country 2 creme coin. Now, we were just, I'm going to try and get this so that you can see it without too much glare. Got the bananas on one That's side. I see. Yeah, you got K. Rule on one side. Exactly, on the other. exactly. We were trying to, to remember earlier. I think this was like the, the level collectible that you had to search for. Right. It's like the, the currency of the game. You use it to save, to get hints, and yeah, some other important stuff. I, I Super genuinely cool. Don't Huge shout-out to the Cute so Monster Props for sending us out to us. And again, it's a $5 minimum donation from now until the end of Death's Door, so make sure to get those donations in. Now, from Pincushion Cat Plushies, we have this absolutely adorable, shiny Jolteon plush. How could you not love Jolteon? Easily the best uh, EV evolution of Gen 1. Don't at me, Twitter. I know you want to, but you know it is true. Jolteon reigns supreme, and this plushie reigns supreme because it's absolutely adorable incredible quality thank you so much to pincushion cat plushies ten dollar minimum donation from now until the end of death's door uh, i'm with you on the plushie we're going to talk later about that evolution <laughs> for fifteen dollars from our friends at pearl pop we've got a lot of amazing stuff from them to show off this week but we're going to start with these donkey kong country 2 perlers so we have donkey kong very large mm. we have diddy kong and we have Oh, God, I'm going to get to Dixie Kong. Dixie Kong. Right? You okay. got it, Shout. You I got knew that. it. I had it in there. $15 minimum donation gets you entered to win these. Thank you so much, Pearl Pop. The, the whole set of three. Pearl Pop, one of my favorite Perla creators. I just, I love the quality of the oh, yeah, the, on these Perla. You can look, fantastic. these are like a yeah. solid wall of color, right? Yeah, absolutely. That's absolute quality. $15 minimum donation for those three is a great, great option. Make sure to get those donations in. And remember that your donations are, of course, uh, directly benefiting the Prevent Cancer Foundation. Now, how about for $20, we've got something from Skater43. This absolutely <laughs> lovely cross-stitch of the ending of a Mega Man 6. Once again, we've defeated Dr. Wily, and his scheme for world domination has failed. D. It, it has failed, D. Failed. Very unfortunate. Uh, maybe Wiley will get back at uh, everyone in the X series of games, but I, I think maybe not. I, I don't think we're doing spoilers for those quite yet. Oh, yet. Uh, sorry. My, my bad. $20 minimum donation from now until the end of Death Store. Thank you so much to Skater43 for sending that out to us. Now, can... No. Oh, sorry. Yeah, no, no go ahead, Sean. Con continuing the trend that I have apparently set of Donkey Kong, for a $25 minimum donation from our friend Mr. Ed Nigma, we have Donkey and Diddy, Amigo to me, uh, I don't know if these are quite life-size, but they're definitely very big. They are so very cool, comfy. so detailed. And Shout, I mean, I know you're a big fan of Amigurumi as a medium. Would you would you like to kind of explain what it is to people? Um, yeah, absolutely. So Amigurumi is a, uh, a thing, and it's absolutely adorable. Uh, it involves some uh, fabric, I think, yarn <laughs> that is then things are done to, and uh, when it's all done, magic happens, and you get Donkey Kong. You know, that's a better technical explanation than I could give. It's a, <laughs> it's a super cool Japanese uh, knitting technique to make these, you know, 3D plush figures. They're filled with, like, a, a okay. soft 
uh, yarn or something on the inside to give them a little heft, and they are absolutely wonderful. $25 minimum donation for the set of two. Thank you so much to Mr. Enigma and Mr. Enigma's community on TikTok for sending out not only those, but so many other amazing amigurumis uh, that you'll be able to uh, donate to win throughout the rest of the week. Now, we have a lovely day prize here, running from now until the end of Environmental Station Alpha. From the Chain Nerd, we have this lovely Shika Slate chain mail inlay. $50 minimum donation from now until the end of Environmental Station Alpha a bit later tonight. This thing is incredible. I, I, it's probably hard to tell on camera because of the light and because of, you know, a little far away from the camera. But you could see through this, right? You could see me through it. This is thousands of hand forged links of chain mail wrought together with different colors to make this image. It is an incredible piece of artwork. $50 minimum donation. Like, come on, shout. No, it's gorgeous. It's I don't so I don't cool. see as much work with the black chain mail, so it really sets off it, the light blue and the metal in yeah, here. Yeah, no, it's such a striking balance, right? Yeah. Like, and the, the contrast the, is so cool. It, the camera's not showing it very well, but this is actually sh shiny chain mail as well. So, like, I know it looks kind of matte on, on camera, but the gleam off of it is great. It is absolutely beautiful. Huge shout-outs to our friends over at the Chain Nerd for sending that out to us. And, of course, shout, we got prizes. We got a couple of grand prizes to we talk do. about, don't we? We do. We have two grand prizes this event once again. Now, now, grand prizes work a little bit differently. Both of these grand prizes are available for a $250 cumulative donation. And what that means is, every time you donate throughout the week, all of those donations are added together. If that number meets or exceeds $250, you are entered to win both of our grand prizes. First off, this event, once again, Sky, Sky Tech Gaming has stepped up for a custom gaming PC. You can find the specs for it on our website, gamesdonequick.com. It is loaded. This is a very capable machine. Um, and would make an excellent gaming, streaming, whatever you want to do with it. This is this is a lovely computer. Two hundred and fifty dollar cumulative donation gets you entered to win that. It's it's absolutely incredible. And also from Dave over at Heroic Replicas, our friends at Heroic Replicas, we have a trio of lovely Zelda themed replicas. Uh, for you all. We have a Dark Link styled Master Sword that you can see sitting there on the table as well as a beautiful Mark II Hylian shield. This thing is just stunning to look at. It's great quality and also we'll be able to show it off a little bit later in the week. We have a Megaton Hammer, a new replica from Dave. It's massive. It's 30 pounds. Uh, real story, one of the people on our crew can't move it uh, by order of their doctor. <laughs> it is actually too heavy for them. It's that great. You definitely want it. $250 cumulative donation throughout the marathon. Make sure to get those donations in and make sure not to go anywhere because we have so many amazing runs and prizes that you can donate through for throughout the whole week. If you want to learn more about them, you can always head over to gamesdonequick.com. Check out the tracker because that's going to have all the information you need on upcoming speed runs in the marathon that you definitely don't want to miss on upcoming incentives that you can put those donations towards because remember you just got to donate the minimum amount for prizes and of course about all of the amazing prizes you could win shout so excited to be here Absolutely. this is going to be an amazing week everyone at home stay tuned don't go anywhere because you don't want to miss one of the cornerstones of speed running donkey kong country 2 coming up next see ya All right, folks, welcome back to HEDQ 2022 online powered by Twitch. I'm Sky Bills, and I'm going to be your host for the next five runs, one in which includes the super hype DKC2 Diddy's Conquest. See what they did there? I didn't realize that conquest was a pun for conquest for a while. So speaking of puns, puns, haikus, especially puns involving bananas, monkeys, let's go for it on this shift, all right, y'all? Let's get hype. We have a $50 donation from Rolf who says, Hyped for DKC2 and Death's Door. AGDQ is a yearly tradition for my family, and I want to thank everyone involved for continuing to put on the show. 
Wes donates $5 saying, it isn't much, but this goes out to Scott. Hang in there. We all appreciate what GDQ does every year and the causes they champion. Thanks to the staff, the foundation, and all of the runners. Donation goes to Runner's Choice. And again, folks, remember, whether or not you donate five or $100, everything counts. Thank you very much for your donations, everyone. Ariel donates $50 saying, DKC, two pearlers, shiny Jolteon, the best evolution, sign me up. I think folks are gonna have some hot opinions about what the best evolution is. Let us know in chat here what evolution you all think is best. And speaking of prizes, let's also talk incentives here. So bonus game one, as y'all know, is coming up. Metal Gear Solid 2 Substance. We are currently $19,252 out of $25,000. So we are almost there, folks. Let's get those donations in. Tyron and DH donates $50 saying HDQ has arrived again. Let's go. Casuno donates $20 saying, happy GDQ day. Metal Gear Solid 2 is one of my absolute favorite games ever, and we had to donate to get this bonus run. Absolutely. Thank you. Non-binary code donates $55 and says, we got to fight cancer. We got to get that bonus game. And well, it's always a good time to start a $5 train, right? So I guess we'll just try to do that. Here's my oops, all fives. All right, more hype for the prizes here. Uh, $50 from Shifter who says, donating now because I need that Sheikah chain mail piece or the Metroid cross stitch, either works. Vincenzo donates $100 saying Metal Gear. Bizarro Ham donates $250 saying, every year we get closer to beating cancer for good. The GDQ community won't stop till the work is done. Keep it up, good people of the world. Kanicha donates $50 saying, looking forward to having this on all week. Good luck to the runners. This is going to be awesome. And of course, folks, let us know what your favorite runs are this week. Oh, looks like we have some more evolution donations here. We have $50 from Grandmore who says, it's AGQ time again. This is the nerdy version of the Super Bowl. And to me, I love it. This year's donation is more personal for me as I lost my best friend last summer to cancer. Let's kick cancer's butt and good luck to all the runners. Also, Espeon is best evolution. Ooh. Do we have any for Sylveon in chat? I love Sylveon. Sylveon's awesome. Chuck donates $25 saying, long, long time watcher, but first time donator. So happy to support this great community. Let's get Metal Gear Solid 2 Substance going. Another evolution. I keep these evolution donations coming in. I love hearing opinions here. $25 from Eventide. Donkey Kong hype. First AG to Q. Been watching VODs for years and so glad to be here. P.S. Glaceon is the best evolution. My, so many Pokemon opinions here. I love it. Anonymous donates $10 saying, greetings from down under. Thank you for everything you do. GDQ is the best time of year. Donating for the Metal Gear Solid 2 substance run. 
And this is a great one here. $200 from Stylin, who says, shout out to all the healthcare workers out there for working tirelessly to keep us safe and healthy. Sketchire Cat donates $10 saying, got my tea from the Yeti. Now to throw in some more. My mother was declared cancer free just before the pandemic hit. So it seems fitting that I chip in what I can to help protect the lives of other loved ones through this wonderful cause. Thank you very much for your donation. Again, shots to the Yeti. A lot of great stuff on there, folks. Be sure you stay posted. Morty Kaiser donates $25 saying, first time donator here. AGDQ is one of the highlights of my year and I'm happy to be supporting an amazing cause. Let's banana slam a cancer where it hurts. Sounds like you're inviting some poetry to come in here, some haikus. That very much opens the door to that. All right, we have a $500 donation from Mott who says, so when the game's title is literally a pun, that means we must make punny donation comments, right? Yeah, yeah, I absolutely love to read puns. I don't care how many people boo me. I will literally read all the wholesome puns here, right? Cartridge Blowers donates $15 saying, the best evolution is just plain Eevee. We don't make our Pokemon less cute in this house. Oh, Eevee is very cute, admittedly. Very, very cute. $250 from Pedro the Pony who says, keep up the great work, love what y'all do. GDQ hype. Brianna 